Is there anything off the top of your head that you just feel is important to say to the 18th Congressional District? Well, I would just say the importance of this election. Uh, this is a special election that's going to occur on Thursday, September 10th. Just remind people to get out and vote. Uh, this district's going to go without a voting representative in Washington, D.C. for almost six months. And so, uh, you know, Thursday's the election. Make sure you show up to vote. If you can't vote on Thursday, you can still early vote today in Adams County at the courthouse. Uh, it's just very, very important that people get out and vote. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, that we can have democracy move forward in this district. You know, when you think about the folks going out to the polls on Thursday, when they see the name Darren LaHood written down, what do you hope that they remember? Well, we've been, uh, in this campaign, we've talked a lot about what we stand for. I've spent uh, about five years as a state senator. I have a strong record, whether it's fiscal responsibility, smaller government, term limits for legislators. How do we get the economy booming? That's been my record. Spent 10 years as a state and federal prosecutor. I have a strong record being a prosecutor. So I'm proud of that record. My wife and I are raising our three young sons in central Illinois. This is home for us. And, uh, you know, when people think about the issues we stand for and being a strong voice in Washington, D.C., uh, whether it's uh, the port here in Quincy, whether it's our transportation issues, whether it's agriculture. Uh, proud to be endorsed by the Farm Bureau in this race, and uh, I hope to be a strong advocate for Quincy and the other 18 counties uh, in this district if I'm fortunate enough to get elected. You know, uh, Darren, you know, how well do we play with others? Meaning, if you are elected, are you going to be reaching across the aisle? Well, I've had a track record in Springfield of doing that, whether it's pension reform, which I supported. It was a very bipartisan bill, something we needed for our state. Also on ethics and transparency, I've introduced 25 pieces of ethics legislation over the last four years, have a lot of bipartisan support on that. Listen, I'm a Republican, I'm a conservative, I have strong principles, uh, and, uh, you know, but there's times when we need to work across the aisle to get things done, and I look forward to trying to do that. How do you feel about term limits? I support term limits. I think uh, bringing new people, young people into government is a good thing. I supported that in the legislature. My bill in the state legislature would set limits at 10 years for the House and Senate. If you look at lots of other states in the Midwest have gone to term limits, Michigan, Ohio, Missouri has done that. Uh, again, I think it's uh, important for the district. What do you think name recognition means in this race that will end on Thursday night? Well, I, listen, this is a wide open election. I was fortunate enough to win a primary against two other opponents in July. I have a strong record as a prosecutor for over 10 years, have a strong record in the state Senate for about five years. So people can look at my voting record, know what I stand for, uh, and hopefully they'll make that decision based on that. You know, fundraising dollars has really been looked at on at both parties. Uh, $2 million has been your campaign raised. Uh, as opposed to uh, Rob Mellon running against you. Uh, what do you have to say about those fundraised dollars? I mean, is that taking away from the purpose of running to represent the people, or is that only helping you better serve them? Well, we're proud of the race we've run uh, throughout this district over the last six months and proud of the money we've raised uh, throughout the district. We've got campaign contributions from all 19 counties. Many of our donations have come from small donors, uh, small and medium amounts of money. Uh, and I think it, it resonates with our message, our message out there of term limits, smaller government, fiscal responsibility, getting the economy booming. That's what I've talked about, talked about my record in the state Senate. And people have responded to that and, and you know, given us contributions, and we're proud to do that. The other thing is we have to run in three different media markets. So we have the Peoria area, we have Bloomington, we have Springfield, we have Quincy. So it costs money uh, to get your name out there to talk about where you stand. And again, we're proud of the race we've been running. Is there anything that I haven't asked you about, something that we haven't discussed that you feel is really important to mention before leaving here today? Well, I would just say I think there's a real disconnect right now between what goes on in Washington, D.C. and the rest of the country. And I've had a strong voice in Springfield on the core issues. And again, I think people that live in this district, whether you live in Adams County, you live in Peoria County or Springfield, people that work hard, play by the rules, strong faith in God, they love their community, but they're not real happy with their federal government. And I think if I can be a strong voice for those core issues, fiscal responsibility, smaller government, getting the economy booming again, creating jobs, term limits, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to work hard to do that between now and Thursday, not take anything for granted and earn every vote. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.